It's been a long offseason for UNLV football, nine months in fact, and in that time, the one question all Rebel fans were asking, how does this team get to six wins, something they haven't done since 2014? But today, at the team's first presser of the season, Sanchez talked about the team's goals, but six was not the number they're striving for. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. The number's 13. We want to play in the 13th game, out. the unscheduled game. You know, that, that's the goal. The goal is to play in the game that's not on our schedule. We got 12 guaranteed, so 13 is the number. Entering his fifth season as UNLV bench boss, Tony Sanchez is as confident as ever. Find the ball! Calling this offseason the best in his tenure by far. That's all right. Hey, that, hey, that, that's a good ball. That's a good ball. We're, we're doing a great job of communicating. We're playing really fast. Obviously, we're we're tempoing it a little bit more on offense. You know, it's it's not NASCAR, but it's it's faster. We got a little more wrinkles in there. We want to see those things executed with the depth we have on defense. We want to see a really violent team that's playing fast. Everybody's being able to play. I think it's an exciting thing that our defense has the depth right now because you don't have to focus on certain guys. You know, everybody on the defense is on the field for a reason, and that would be helpful. A good defense always helps but success with this team starts and ends with their junior quarterback and two-time captain, Armani Rogers. I feel great right now, uh, just just the, the years of experience that I have under my belt now, so I know exactly what to expect. I'm, I'm feeling confident with the offense, just loving the vibe right now with the whole team. The Rebels' first test comes Saturday. They open as 24-point favorites against Southern Utah. But the last time an FCS squad came to open the season in Las Vegas was Howard University two years ago. We all remember how that one ended. Just because there might be a smaller school or whatnot, you have to go out there as if you're facing the best opponent and go out there and give it your all each and every drive. And this can't take any team for granted. When the Rebels kick off on Saturday, it will be the 49th and final season opener at Sam Boyd Stadium before UNLV move into Allegiant Stadium in 2020. Regardless of whether it was the last you know, year in the stadium or not, I think, I think we have a team that can, I know we have a team that can hit the ground running this year and really make a big splash. Um, I know we're going to go out there and we're, we're going to have a heck of a season and uh, send Sam Boyd off in the, in, in the right way. Now, part of Sam Boyd Stadium's farewell campaign involves giveaways at every home game. This Saturday, the first 1,500 fans will get a 70s-inspired T-shirt. And in honor of that 70s team, they'll be wearing these throwback 1971 silver helmets, the same design first worn during the first season at Sam Boyd.